Smartphones are quite frankly amazing. I'd be lost without mine. And one of the really clever things about them is they know how they're being moved around and which way they're pointing which is really important if you're training for that half marathon or you're just obsessed with Temple Run. But how do they know this? Well, that's all down to an accelerometer. As the name suggests, accelerometers measure acceleration, the rate of change of velocity. Remember, this is intimately tied to forces with Newton's second law saying the overall force on an object is equal to its mass times by how much it's accelerating. So how do they measure this? Conceptually, an accelerometer is just a mass attached to a load of springs inside a box. Now, say you give the box a big push, you accelerate it. But because you're not pushing the mass in the middle of the box, from your point of view, the mass stays where it is. But from the point of view of the box, it's moving away from its usual position in the center. This is exactly the same as in your car. When you put your foot down, you get pushed into the back of your seat. In the case of your car, it's the force from the seat on your back that accelerates you up to the same rate as the car itself. Now, the same thing happens in an accelerometer, except it's the forces from the springs, which is now compressed on one side and extended on the other. So the way an accelerometer works out how fast it's being accelerated is by measuring the position away from the center that the mass moves. And remember, gravity is also a source of acceleration. So that's how your smartphone knows which way is up. This setup is pretty much exactly what's inside your smartphone, but on an absolutely tiny scale. Springs of only a few microns long and a mass of under a microgram. They're an example of microelectromechanical systems, or MEMS, and such accelerometers are found in all manner of devices these days, from games controllers to camcorders. And there are tools available online to use them to control almost anything. For instance, I've programmed Wii controllers to DJ with, basically by waving my arms around. But you can use accelerometers for much more useful purposes, like tracking how animals' bodies move in the wild, testing how earthquake-proof buildings are, or even detecting very small changes in gravity and atmospheric drag at the International Space Station. Make sure you subscribe to Headsteam for more on how science and technology are making your life awesome.